Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to cover observable unsubscription. We are going to give a practical example of how to implement unsubscription by making our HTTP observable cancelable. This means that the users of our HTTP observable will be able to cancel in-flight requests, which is a very useful feature, for example, for search. If a search HTTP request is ongoing and the user just types a new different search, we want to be able to cancel the previous ongoing search request. Let's give a quick example that shows how cancellation works. We are going to define here an observable that will never end. It's going to be an interval observable. We're going to call it interval1 and we are going to issue a new value each second. Now if we subscribe to this observable like we have seen before, we are going to be issuing to the console numeric values starting at 0, 0, 1, 2, etc. But it could be possible that, let's say, after 5 seconds, we would like to no longer receive any of those values. We are only interested in receiving values for a limited amount of time. If that would be the case, we would want to unsubscribe from this observable. In order to unsubscribe from an observable, we need to get a reference to the subscription object. And this is returned here by the subscribe method. So the variable sub here is going to be a subscription. This is of type rxjs subscription if we inspect it using control shift p. This subscription object is what is going to allow us to unsubscribe from this interval. So let's say that after 5 seconds, and we're going to add here a set timeout to let those 5 seconds pass, after 5 seconds, we would like to unsubscribe from this observable and not receive any more values in the console. Well, if that would be the case, we simply have to call here unsubscribe. Let's start by trying out this example to see if this works indeed as expected. We are going to switch here to the about screen where we created our example and we're going to have a look here at the console. So we can see that we have here a couple of values, 0, 1, 2, 3 four, and then we no longer get values here in the console. So this confirms our understanding of unsubscription. We are no longer receiving the values here in our subscribe method. Now notice one thing, we do always get here a subscription object from calling subscribe and we can call and subscribe on it. But we have really no guarantee that that is going to affect the observable. That is going to depend on the type of observable. For example, here our HTTP observable is clearly not cancelable. There is no logic here to cancel the ongoing HTTP request. Let's quickly refactor this implementation of our HTTP observable and add cancellation logic to it. First, we are going to fix here a small mistake. Notice that this URL variable is kept unused. This is actually the URL that we want to hit with our fetch request. So now that we have fixed this, let's see how can this request be cancelled. Well, the fetch API has support for cancellation. So we can trigger the cancellation of this request by using what is called an abort controller. Let's create here a controller and see how it's used. We are going to instantiate here a new abort controller. So this is part of the fetch API. The abort controller is then going to provide us what is known as a signal. This is available via the property controller.signal. This is an abort signal that if it emits a value of true, then the fetch request is going to be cancelled by the browser. So we can take this signal and we can pass it here in a configuration object, which is the second argument of the fetch call. So we provide here a property called signal and we link it here to the abort signal of the abort controller. Now we have here our controller linked to the fetch request via the signal. So if by some reason we would like to cancel this request, we simply have to do controller.abort and this would effectively cancel the HTTP request. But we don't want to do this here in the body of the definition of this observable. What we want to do is we want to call abort only if we unsubscribe. So how is this link made? Notice that here 
when we pass a function to object.create, we are not returning any value. We do have here the option of returning a value out of this function. This value returned should be a function and this is the cancellation function. This function is going to be executed by our application via the unsubscribe method. So unsubscribe is going to trigger this function that we return here as the result of creating our observable. And here is where we want to call controller.abort. Let's now test the implementation of this HTTP observable to see if this is indeed working as expected. Let's define here a new HTTP observable and we are going to call here, for example, the URL slash API slash courses. We are now going to subscribe to this observable and this should trigger an HTTP request. So if the request would return a value, we would log it here to the console. Now what we are going to do is immediately after calling subscribe, but in another JavaScript virtual machine turn, we are going to call and subscribe on it. So for deferring this to the next turn, we are going to use set timeout. We are going to create here a function and inside this function, this is where we are going to call and subscribe. We are going to need here a reference to the subscription and with it, we can cancel the HTTP request. We are going to run this timeout with a delay of zero. So this way, the browser will have an opportunity to trigger the AJAX request, but the AJAX request is going to be canceled straight away. We are not going to give time for the response to come back from the server. The result is that we should see in the network tab of the dev tools a canceled HTTP request. Let's see if that is indeed the case. We are going to switch here to our larger window. We're going to refresh the application. And as we can see here on the network tab, we can see that we have a canceled HTTP request as expected. As we can see, our implementation of an HTTP observable now implements cancellation. Let's now give a practical example where this functionality would be useful.